Today we design some alternatives for LawRust Zippo BitSafe. Go ahead, download the file, modify it, share it with the community. Let's just all have fun with this. So let's have some fun and work with the design. I start with measuring the size of the inside of a Zippo as well as of a standard bit and 3D print a quick test piece to adjust the fit. I then recreate Laura's original design in Fusion 360 and print it on my 3D printer. My first print was a bit too short and the lid did not close properly. With a quick change of the parameters in Fusion this is fixed and we have the same functionality as the original design. Just by playing around with the bits it seems possible to store 6 bits instead of 4 if we arrange them differently. When modeling this in Fusion I realized that it only leaves me with 0.2 mm between the bits. Let's see if that works. While it works and stores more bits, it still doesn't make use of the lower half of the Zippo. If we go back to the original design and punch the holes all the way through, we would have enough space for 8 bits. After printing this the first time, the print is too loose. The second print is too tight and the third one again too loose. After quite some forth and back, I realized that the friction fit might be easier to control when using a circle instead of a hexagon. The first circle was too loose again, but the second attempt produces a nice friction fit. What I like about this design is that you can take it out, flip it around and you have a second configuration of bits. In CAT, we could create the same design with through holes for 6 bits, but the walls will be too thin to be practical. I am happy with the storage capacity of this one, in particular as it works identical to the original if you don't need any of the additional bits. We could try to add more functionality to the holder. An obvious feature would be to add some kind of improvised screwdriver. I just go back to the model and add back the hex shape to one of the circles and print it again. It seems to work quite well. For sure it will break if you apply a lot of torque, but it works surprisingly good. The only problem is that the bit slips into the holder if you apply downward pressure. Let's add one more hole in order to secure the bit. If we move the bits a bit closer together and move them a little bit around, we actually have enough space for some rare earth magnets. With these in place, the screws will stick to the Zippo case and don't get lost. I will stop here, as this version provides me the functionality I need. The holder can store up to 8 bits, all the bits are easily accessible, it can act as an improvised bit holder and after pulling out a screw, you can store it on the shell. Let me know in the comments if you have additional ideas how to change or improve the design. All the files will also be available under the link below, so you can start your own experiments. A big thank you to Laura for the inspiration. I will leave a link to her video in the description as well. If you like this video and want to keep up with new projects, please subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other 3D printing videos and follow me on Instagram for a look on future projects.